Hello, everyone. I'm Jamie Wang from School of Software at Tsinghua University. I'm also the executive director of the National Engineering Laboratory for Big Data Software. It's my honor to share our work on industrial big data software research and our open source practices in this prestigious venue of Apache Kong Acer 2021. Today, big data is not a new term. We have plenty of internet leaders in China, such as Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, and Huawei, etc. They are strong players in big data, and most of them we call consumer-oriented. However, if we take a closer look at the China's economy, we may find that in China, there are major sectors which is still lag behind in big data applications. For example, manufacturing, construction, transportation, etc. Today, these sectors are facing two major challenges. First, these industries are still lack of talent who has deep understanding in advanced big data technologies. Second challenge is the technologies we provide today is insufficient for them to solve the specific problem at their hand. Nevertheless, big data have many new focus areas such as AI, machine learning, data science, etc. So, our mission is to innovate the big data technology and applications for these industries. According to the McKinsey Global Institute Big Data Report in 2011, the data volume in the manufacturing sector is even larger than the financial sector. Where does the industrial big data come from? The first data source is enterprise information systems, such as CAD systems, PDM and PRM system, ERP and the CRM system, which are imported into the enterprise in last century 60s. The second data source is the industrial Internet of Things, such as airplane fleet, wind turbine farm, etc., which started in this new century. Industrial Internet of Things date, that is also called machine equipment date, a working condition date constitute the main body of industry big data. The third data source is a cross domain data from the internet, such as meteorology, geography, and the environmental data, which can be got easily in nowadays. We call it as AIH. The first data source of industry big data is the enterprise information system. The enterprise information system contains unstructured data, such as 2D engineering drawings, 3D part models, service cards, business documents, which they are usually stored in the file systems. While the enterprise system also manages the structured data, such as the bill of material, the part item, the metadata of the product and structured data and their pathway, which are stored in the traditional DBMS generally. In the PRM theory, the design and the manufacturing phase is also called the beginning of the life. The maintenance and the service phase are also called the middle of life. To meet the requirements for bad Direct association between BOL data and MOL data. The neutral bomb structure is introduced by us, by which the design and the manufacturing bomb items are mediated with service bomb item efficiently. Our neural bomb structure reduces the association complexity between the bombs in the product life cycles which are widely used in the enterprises, 
such as in Dongfang Turbine Corporation, China, and released as our national standard. The second data source of industrial big data is industrial big IoT data for an, from engineering equipment or mechanical machines. To make the equipment run efficiently, we need to collect, store, and analyze the working condition data as much as possible. There are many sensors embedded in the machines by the OEM, such as Sunny, Zhumlin, and Shigo. When the machines, let us say, excel excavators, are working on the building sites, the sensors collect data and send them to the cloud data center by Wi-Fi, 5G network, etc. The data records the running status of the machines. For example, when the machine is transferring from one construction site to another, we collect their speed, their location, and their fuel consumptions. When the machine is working, we collect the chassis angle, the pump pressure, and so on. Suppose an enterprise have 10,000 engineering equipment and an equipment have 500 sensors in average, will produce more than 50 billion records per year. Nowadays, the IoT data is the main body of the industrial big data and will dominate the volume of the industrial in the future. The third data source is the cross-domain data from the internet or the third parties. According to the Michael Porter's article, information technology is revolutionizing the industrial products. In the future, most of the products will connect with the internet and will be the smart connected products. Farm exam equipment system will work with wired data system, seed optimization system, and the irrigation system, which means the data from internet and the third party system will be integrated and aggregated with the enterprise data and the industrial IoT data. Since June 2013, we have built the climate big data integration processing system with the National Meteorological Center of China. Nowadays, it manages 1073 types of unstructured real time weather data, and the prediction results were used by the Gold Wind Corporation, where they predict the freezing time and correct the any anemometer value to keep the wind turbine to run smoothly and generate more electrical power. As we have seen, the industrial big data comes from three sources, the enterprise information system, the industrial IoT network, and the internet web. They are the raw data of the industrial big data and can be used in four application scenario. Scenario one, monitoring and alerting. IoT data and cross-domain data can be used in monitoring equipment working conditions and social events and can keep an eye on the abnormal alerting, even closed-loop control with these data. Scenario 2, Query and Searching. The data accumulated in the enterprise systems, such as ERP, PRM, SCM, have high value density and is a much data of the industrial big data. One side, these data are used in data query and searching tasks, in the routing tasks for the enterprise operations. The other side, enterprise information system data are used as master data on which the IoT data and cross-domain data 
are organized, and then the industrial data lake was formed. Scenario 3, transformation and reporting, also called as BI application. Any industrial raw data stored in the data lake should be transformed one data set into another data set, generally from raw data set into key performance indicators. And the processing result will be delivered as a report which is typically business intelligence application used. Scenario the four, this is an prediction, AI application. If we say BI application just to transform the data set to another data set, the AI application is extract the knowledge from the data set, especially from the training data set. Nowadays, machine learning is a mainstream for the AI application. So the neural network generated by deep learning or transfer learning can be applied in the decision and the prediction work. With the above four scenarios, the industrial big data lifecycle can be divided into five stages that are the collection, management, processing, analysis, and application. In a concrete industrial big data application, the file station may, may interleave each other. Our industrial big data software stack components are aligned with the big data lifecycle and them. DIKW pyramid. Considering the file stages, industrial big data life cycles, and the four type application scenarios, we proposed a new big data software architecture, which is called Qinghua Data Way. And we initiate several projects that is specific to the industrial big data needs. In this chart, you can see some of them. The light yellow boxes, such as IOTDB, Proto, TSClean, INALEN, and the DWF, etc. are the projects we are working on. Due to the time limit, I'm going to share with you three of them. The first one is DataWay Framework, DWF. It is a rapid development platform for data intensive applications. It has two purposes. The first one is rapid development. We adopt a model driven architecture to change the way we implement application from hard coding to lightweight configuration and make it possible for junior level engineers to create application in the low code way. The second one is big data intensive application, which means DWF has an underlying model that makes it easy to orchestrate different big data components such as Hadoop, Spark, and incorporate these components into applications. So users can use this framework as a data bus, control bus, and interaction bus. DWF flow is a control bus and the engine for big data analysis and the process, with a managed workflow among big data software components. As we know, CRISPR-DM is widely accepted as industrial big data analysis paradigm with six steps, including business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and development. Flock support quickly 
building the data processing workflow by dragging and dropping operators. And now it has more than 180 built-in algorithms. The second software tool in Tsinghua Data with Software Stack is AnyLearn, an AIoT-oriented machine learning system, which is a cloud-native system. AnyLearn is built for industrial domain experts who have abundant knowledge on the industry, but are not experts on machine learning. AnyLearn have different user interfaces include interactive web portal, Jupyter notebook, and the command line interface. Moreover, AnyLearn make it easy to deploy model in production environment, both in the cloud and on the edge. Finally, AnyLearn considers the transfer learning ability as its native function which is suitable for the numerous similar scenario in the industry. Anila also provides the domain-oriented algorithm library, such as weather forecasting, wind power prediction, and the transfer learning framework invented by our group. Finally, Anila provides an Anila Edge inference engine for the industrial IoT scenario, which runs on the Android and real-time Linux OS. The inference results of the ML model can be merged with state graph, for example, business rules, and the sensor data from real-time monitoring. We built a wind prediction testbed in our lab with NLN and IoTDB. The meteorological sensors are placed on top of our yeast building. The Raspberry Pi single board computer, powered by solar energy battery, collects the sensor state with the LTDB and serving the wind forecasting model with Anilin Ice inference engine. The wind forecasting ML model are trained on the cloud with AnyLearn platform and LTDB server. The third project for Tsinghua Dataway software stack is a time series DBMS LTDB. This database has three different uses scenario. First, it can be used as a plain file in the end devices. We provide a high compression rate and a simple write-read interface. Second, it can also be used as a database in the soft floor or factory level. It is more powerful for uses as a centralized control scenario, like a set monitoring and data processing. Third, LTDB also has native support for big data analytic framework, such as Spark and Hadoop, which make it easier for industries to carry out industry big data analysis, especially for applications such as cloud-based industry internet applications. The IoT project was initialized in 2011, inspired by Sunny Enterprise control center system where they monitor more than 100,000 equipment around the world. At that time, the ZCC system stored the equipment data in the relational database. However, the performance of the system does not meet the requirements such as truck mounted concrete pump lockdown and the diesel oil stolen detection. After investigating this application, we found there are three main challenges as follows. First, in most industrial IoT application scenarios, the metadata of the time series 
is defined by the end devices. That is to say, the new time series may come without registration first in the bank end. Second, we should process the data as near as to the field side, which align with the L0 to L4 factory hierarchy architecture. Third, the data from the industry internet is often about the physical health status of machine. The signal processing function is applied to the IoT data set very often. From 2015, we start a new version development in 2017. We published our code on GitHub. In November 2018, the Apache Software Foundation accepted IoT as an incubator project. 20 months later, last year, IoTDB became the top level project in ASF. Why open source? Nowadays, Open source become an innovation paradigm for the software industry and the research. Google innovates the Android, a mobile operating system, and TensorFlow, an end-to-end -end open source platform for machine learning, which changes the mobile internet world and makes it easy to build and deploy Machine learning system. Second, open source is an effective way of technology spill over from the university. For example, Spark, a unified analytic engine for large scale data processing, and Ray, a high performance distributed execution framework, all of them are from UC Berkeley. Finally, Open source is an education platform for the new generation software talents, where they can test requirements from the real life applications and get the development skills which they cannot told in the classroom. There is other benefits, so on and so on. Yes, to be open sourced, why we choose? Apache. However, just publishing the code on GitHub, which may lead to only play the project by yourself. You can see Apache Software Foundation has got a lot of achievements in the past 20 years. And there is more important aspect to us is a culture of ASF. They believe community over code, which means a healthy community is a higher priority than good code. Besides, ASF had a fantastic code of conduct, which respects every person in this community. Now, let me introduce our open source practices. I take charge of the database course to our junior undergraduate for 20 years. The main object of our course are to make students understand the relational theory, the sacred languages, the database design method and the DBM architecture and its implementation. The course project homework is to develop a mini DBMS by themselves. I encourage my students to learn from the open source project and do the best to contribute to the open source project they learn from. Moreover, in our school, software engineering is a very important subject that requires strong practical ability and abundant practical experience. After the students involved into the open source project, they would well understood 
the essentials of angel and scrum project management philosophy. They also experience on the test-driven software development framework through the unit testing, integration testing, and the continuous integration testing. More or less, when contributing their code to the community, the sonar will check the program and find out the band smell or the symptom in the source code. To my knowledge, the open source platform is a very efficient software engineering training environment. In School of Software at Tsinghua University, we encourage our students and the professors to contribute to the open source software project. Since 2018, the selection criteria for student scholarship was changed, which does not only emphasize on the paper publication, but also consider their contribution to open source projects, such as pull requests, via bug fixes, and new ideas accepted by the open source project. Last year, our school founder, Professor Jia Guangxun, established the Tsinghua Software Award, which rewards the team who build a useful software in the real life. My PhD student, Jia Lin Chiao, won both of the National Scholarship and the Tsinghua Software Award for his contribution to the Apache IoTDB last year. The last but not the least, we propagate the open source culture actively since 2018. Our president at Tsinghua, Yang Bin, Secretary General, now Vice President of Apache, Craig Surley, and technical expert of open source at Huawei, William Jiang, attend to our open source conference and meeting up to share their insights. Besides, we also collaborate with Fudan University, Zemin University, etc., to improve the IODDB system and our state research project. And we also give speeches about the open source to the students in the other university, such as Beihang University and Hubei University, etc. At the end of my report, I will emphasize that our mission is to innovate industrial big data technology and the software tools for building the apps fast and easy. We believe industrial big data software and its application is a long journey in the following decades in China as well as in the world. Tsinghua Dataway Software Stack is our initial thinking on this topic. Our open source journey is still at the starting point. Finally, I hope you to pay attention to our Dataway projects and invite you to join the Apache LTDB project. Thank you.